Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started, I just want to remind you guys to turn on post notifications. That's the little bell right next to the subscribe button. So you're notified every time I make a video. I know we're on to the last episode of Game of Thrones, but I do plan to make a season review and a predictions video coming out soon. And I'll be covering Stranger Things, The Walking Dead, and much, much more. So make sure you subscribe. And now let's get watching the final episode of Game of Thrones Season 7. What? What? No way, bitch. No. No. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, thank god. You helped us get beyond the wall. You're a good man. Oh, thank you, but uh, I'm not sure that I am. What happened to you beyond the wall? I became the three-eyed raven. Oh! oh. <laughs> What's that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I can see things that happened in the past. He needs to know the truth. The truth about what? About himself. No one knows. No one but me. John isn't really oh, my yeah. father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt, Lyanna Stark. Fuck he was yeah. Born in a tower in Bob was early. His last name isn't really Snow. It's Sam. So he's still a bastard. He's John Sam. Dornish bastards are named Sam. At the Citadel, I transcribed the High Septon's diary. He annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Alea. He went Rhaegar and Leander in a secret ceremony. So why he's did Bran know this? He's what High wrote in his private diary. I don't know why he's lying. Is this something you can see? Father, Smith, warrior. Mother, maiden, Bran, stranger. How did Bran not see this? And she is mine. Oh. From this day until the end of my days. Oh my god. Robert's rebellion was built on a lie. Rhaegar didn't kidnap my aunt, or rape her. Oh my god! He loved her. Holy shit. And she loves him. sex. Some of y'all predicted it. Boat sex is happening. The Tyrion's feeling left out. Poor guy. Is Egon Targaryen? You have to protect Egon Targaryen? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is all too overwhelming for me. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Oh. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh, wow. Wow. He to go. He's gonna flip the fuck out once he knows. Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this is so hot. This is so hot. Fucking Cersei, you stupid bitch. Oh, one, one. Oh no, this is so fucked. Oh god, oh god, I don't even want to see Viserion. This is so fucked up, man. This is so fucked up. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fuck. What the hell are they gonna do? Oh my god. Oh fuck. They're all fucked. They're all fucked, man. They're all fucked. Obvious yays. Peter Baelish finally died. I've been wanting that guy to die since season one and it's it feels almost anti-climatic because he survived for seven seasons. He doesn't have a POV in the books so you never really knew what his true motive is. Hopefully we'll get, I mean obviously we'll get a lot more insight on that in Winds of Winter and A Dream for Spring. I'm so glad that Sansa isn't as stupid as I thought. I should have actually known that Bran was telling Sansa and Aya everything that was going on between Littlefinger because why the hell not? I mean we haven't seen him talk much this season but everyone was wondering what the hell is Bran doing if he's not fucking telling everyone 
everything that's been happening. So clearly that wasn't the case. I'm really happy about that. Cersei and Jaime, finally they've parted. So happy about that. But again, Cersei, so fucking stupid. So fucking stupid. If she could right now look at what's happening beyond the wall, actually, even then, I don't think she would come to her senses because she is that fucking delusional. Like, I just cannot even deal with that character. Um, but at least she's staying true to her her character, which is mad Queen Cersei. Um, obviously, huge wow. John and Daenerys in the boat. Some of you guys predicted that. Um, as soon as John finds out, I feel like that marriage might not happen. John is obviously a Stark or a Snow through and through. He was raised a northerner. So, you know, I've been saying I've been saying that they're gonna get married, but I thought that they would get married in this episode and that didn't happen, so we'll see. We'll see what happens in season eight if anyone fucking survives because holy shit Viserion, Viserion fucking destroy that wall, that wall that's been up there for like thousands of years. Oh my god. And Tormund never got to see Brienne. Also happy that Theon is slowly but gradually becoming the Theon that, well, hopefully not the Theon that we first got to know in season one, but Theon 2.0, which is a redeemed Stark slash Greyjoy who loves his sister. And I've always, you guys know, I've always had a soft spot for Theon, so I was really, really happy to see that they're gonna get Yara back in the next season. Fucking amazing episode, by the way. An hour and 20 minutes. Everything did happen very, very quickly, but I guess they're really trying to wrap things up. Season eight, we've only got, I think, six episodes left. That was my thoughts on the final episode of Game of Thrones. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications because I will be doing a few more Game of Thrones videos and then I'll be moving on to a couple of other shows until, of course, next year when Game of Thrones returns. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll hopefully see you next week. Bye!